So I don't know if I should keep going with the with the quest or not. I guess I should. More loot. Impact shell, awesome. Yeah, let's just keep going with the quest. Just burn through those. The thing is the other stuff. Like the uh, the viewpoint. I guess I should do the viewpoints on camera. Oh wait, there's a piece of fragment of animus thing up there. Like the buying the shops things and then you know buying all the optional things and finding the the random loot. I can do that in my own time. Alright, let's grab this thing. Cool. Alright, let's go find the next quest. I just don't know if all the mechanics have unlocked yet. I suspect they haven't. Let's go talk to this guy. Get him to stop talking smack about me. No, stop talking about the assassins. Alright, where are we. Oh, well, there's another piece right there. Let me just grab some of this stuff. Alright, got that. Uh, what are you doing? Why can't you go up? There you go. And then... Then... I don't know which way I'm going. And then... We're going this way. That's the... Grand Bazaar, I think? Are we going back here? Or, yeah, this is it. The Grand Bazaar. It's quite pretty, isn't it? Look at that. Amazing. You can see just how important the trade is to this city by how much they uh, decorate their marketplace, right? You know, if, if, a, if a place is important to a city, then people would spend the time and money to decorate it. So, you know, in some cities, the churches and the cathedrals will be really um, brightly colored and decorated. Here, it's the marketplace. I guess the mosques as well, but the marketplace, definitely. Extremely colorful. Survey the region. I can do this with this guy. 100% awesome. Uh, start mission. Auto success. Wait a minute, it cost me one and a half thousand dollars to send him? Not enough money. Wow, it actually costs money. Survey the region. Unlock new ingredient. Oh, I see. It unlocked a new ingredient, but it costs money to do. Wow. Okay, so. You don't. You, you spend money. You don't. You don't get a reward. You lose money on that mission. Okay, don't. Why you stop it? Stop it! Stop it! Don't stick to the ladder. Especially the back of the leather. So we can just pull these things down. Like if I, if I just, if I just. Wait a minute. Grab. Never mind. I think I only count when we are fighting someone. You can just break scaffolding by pulling them. Apparently. Uh, we are going here. What is this place? Buongiorno, Merava. Please come in. Oh, excuse the clutter. I have not had time to tidy up since my trip. You sailed from Rhodes, no? See, si. how did you know? We were on the same ship. I am Ezio Auditore. Sofia Sarto. Have we met? We have now. May I have a look around? Prego. Most of my best tomes are in the back. Ah, okay, this is the place where we're supposed to find the key or something. Polo's former trading post may contain hints as to the location of Messiah Keys. Investigate the area to reveal any secrets. Also, boobs. You'll notice that nobody else in the entire game has their boobs sticking out like this, but she does. 
So there you go. It is nice to meet another Italian in this district. Most keep to the Venetian Quarter and Galata. Altrettanto. I assume the Ottoman war with Venezia would have driven most of you away. I lived here with my parents when I was a girl. The war pushed us out. But I always knew I would return. Right. So we're coming here and looking for a thing. Oh, that's obvious. That is really obvious. Doop -de -doop -de -doo. Have you found anything interesting? Uh, New deal. yes. Who put that there? Incredible. Where does it lead? Why don't we find out? Who don't. are you, Messere? Only the most interesting man in your life. <laughs> <laughs> Che presuntuoso. A presto, Sofia. I will return in a moment. I am the most interesting man in the world. Yeah, you probably should not be that excited about a hidden passageway in your house. But, underground chambers. Do you know how long we've been searching this filthy system? I've been here a few weeks. Thirteen months! <laughs> Ever since the Grand Master found that damn key. But he hasn't got a clue what he's doing. All he knows is that somewhere in the city... This is a big city. Toxel. That's what I said. Back to your post, Aietes. All right, so the uh, the Templars, the Greeks are down here. The secret door in Sophia's shop has brought Ezio to an underground cistern filled with Templars. Well, usually underground cisterns are either filled with water or sewage, but here it's Templars. Investigate the cistern, but be careful. Do not be detected, okay? Do not be detected, guys. This looks like a water cistern? Although we never see any sewage in video games. Or not often. Either this is the cleanest sewage in the world. Or it's water. Do not be detected. Is there loot? I see loot down there. Maybe we should keep keep this in mind. See if there's uh, underground cisterns in Istanbul. I don't think there are. Not anything this big. Wait a minute. Yerebatan Cistern? The Yerebatan Senichi or Sunken Cistern is the largest underground cistern in Constantinople. Originally used as a basilica, hence its alternate epithet, the Basilica Cistern. This once grand public space with its many hundreds of marble columns was converted in the 6th century into a water storage facility for the Byzantine Palace Complex, situated immediately to the east. Alright, so it is an actual place. After the fall of the Latin dynasty and the restoration of the Palai... Palai... Palaiologi? Palaio... <laughs> Greek. Uh, the system fell out of use and was forgotten by all but a few residents of the city. By the time the Ottomans had taken over in 1453, all common knowledge of them had been lost. Still the rumours of the cistern's existence persisted in the minds of the imaginative and the hopeful, boasted by the repeated stories of men and women who claimed to have active fishing holes in the basements of their houses. It wasn't until late in the reign of Suleiman the Magnificent that a visiting diplomat rediscovered the cistern's entrance and passed on his findings to a most amused and fascinated sultan. So this was a real place, it used to be a basilica, got converted into a water cistern for a palace, and then was forgotten for a long time, interesting. I don't know if we can ever get down here again, maybe we should look at, okay let's go to um, Wikipedia and look that up as well. Since we're here, since I don't think we'll get the chance to come back here. Uh, database, locations. Alright, Yerabatan Sister. 
let's go to here. Yeah, oh, why? That's it. It's exactly like that. Amazing. It actually is exactly like what we see in the game. Well, it's been lit up now, so these, these lights will be added later on, or, you know, most, most recently, electric lighting. So there's water, there's columns, beautiful marble columns that's just been flooded. Upside down head, that's a bit strange. <laughs> tourist. Okay, so now it's a tourist destination, I see. Wow, it's just been turned into a cistern. Funny. What does Wikipedia has to have to say? It's the largest of several hundred ancient cisterns that lie beneath the city of Istanbul. So, the city does need a water supply, and there's apparently several hundred cisterns underneath the city. Located 500 feet southwest of the Hagia Sophia on the historical peninsula of Saraybenu, was built in the 6th century during the reign of Byzantine Emperor Justinian I. Uh, the name of the subterranean structure derives from a large public square on the first hill of Constantinople, the Stor Basilica, beneath which it was originally constructed before being converted into a cistern. A great basilica stood in its place, built between the 3rd and 4th centuries during the early Roman age as a commercial, legal, and artistic center. But it's underground. It's a massive underground structure. Uh, the basilica was reconstructed by Illus after a fire in 476. Ancient texts indicate that the basilica contained gardens surrounded by a colonnade and facing the Hagia Sophia. According to ancient historians, Emperor Constantine built a structure that was later rebuilt and enlarged by Empress Justinian after the Nika riots of 532, which devastated the city. There's gardens underneath here? Really? Or maybe, okay, I think it was not originally underground. I think originally it was at ground level. Maybe, I don't know. Historical texts claim that 7,000 slaves were involved in the construction of the cistern. Not sure how accurate that is. The enlarged cistern provided a water filtration system for the Great Palace of Constantinople and other buildings on the first hill, and continued to provide water to the Tokapi Palace after the Ottoman conquest in 1453 and into modern times. The, this cathedral-sized cistern is an underground chamber approximately 138 meters by 64.6 meters. Ah, uh, that is much bigger than what we see in game. That description is much, much bigger than what we see in game. Maybe like, let's see, 10, 20, 30, at least double the size, unless we're looking at something else as well. Yeah, so the real thing is at least twice as big as this. Uh, capable of holding 80,000 cubic meters of water, the ceiling is supported by a forest of 336 marble columns. 336 marble columns. This is not 336 anything in the game. You can probably count the columns down here. Let me just loot this stuff first. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 25, there are exactly 25 columns in here. Are there more in the next room or not? What's over in the next room? Let me just... Actually, let's just keep reading. So there's 25 in that room. There is 336 marble columns in the real thing. Each 9 meters high arranged in 12 columns of 28, 12 rows of 28 columns each, spaced 4.9 meters apart. Amazing. The capitals of the columns are mainly Ionic and Corinthian styles, with the exception of a few Doric styles with no engravings. That's a bit strange. Usually, if there's a set of columns, they'll all be the same style, but for some reason, there's like th all three styles here. So that's a Corinthian, I believe. And we don't see the capitals there. Um, 
do, 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 do. one of the columns is engraved with raised pictures of a hen's eye, slanted branches, and tears. This column resembles the columns of the triumphal arch of Theodosius the first from the fourth century, erected in the Forum Tauri Square. Ancient texts suggest that the tears on the column pay tribute to the hundreds of slaves who died during the construction of, of the Basilica cistern. Why would hundreds of people have died in the construction? That just seems completely unnecessary. Like, why would people have to die? You just dig a hole and put columns in. Like, why would... That's so weird. Um, the majority of the columns in the cistern appear to have been recycled from the ruins of older buildings. That makes sense. That's why they're all different styles likely brought to Constantinople from various parts of the empire, together with those that were used in the construction of the Hagia Sophia. They are carved and engraved out of various types of marble and granite. So they are all different types of stone. That's funny. 52 stone steps descend into the entrance of the cistern. The cistern is surrounded by a fire brick wall with a thickness of 4 meters and coated with a waterproofing mortar. The basilica cistern the Basilica Systems water come, came from the Egrikapi Water Distribution Center in the Belgrade Forest, which lie 19 kilometers north of the city. It traveled through the 971 meters long Valens Aqueduct and the 115 meter long Meglova Aqueduct, which was built by Emperor Justinian. So the Romans, as they did, built massive water supplies into the city. 